Hi, I'm David Sykes. I'm the data scientist here at Octopus Energy. I'm here to tell you a little bit about how a price cap might affect the energy market and how it might impact the consumer. So what we see in this graph here is the energy market uh, in London today. So the green shows the best fixed deals available to uh, a customer and the red shows the standard variable tariff. So that's the, the, the tariff that you'd go on to uh, after the fixed term. So for example, if you picked Empower's best deal, you pay £897 for the first year, and then as soon as that 12 months is over, you'd roll onto a deal which is £1,197. So the key things to note here are that uh, there are lots of good tariffs available to the customer. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 deals with uh, prices below £900 in this region. The other thing to note is that there's a, there's a marked difference between uh, companies who have their standard variable tariff very close and standard variable tariff very far away. So these deals here have a, have a sting in their tail. Uh, the consumer's going to end up uh, on a very expensive tariff after year one. As a consumer, you wouldn't see this when you went to a price comparison website. All you'd see is, is the numbers uh, of the green deals. You wouldn't know which deals were going to have the sting in the tail. So, uh, the government are currently looking at the option of an uh, absolute price cap. So this would be capping the price of the standard variable tariff. Um, so let's have a look at what that looks like. If I put in a, a value that's been muted of about £1,050, we see the grey line is, is the price cap. And uh, a lot of the larger companies are arguing that by putting this price cap in place, uh, they won't be able to offer their cheap deals anymore. And that's going to be detrimental to the consumer. So when we put this price cap in place, we see that actually most of the cheapest deals in the market have, uh, have standard variable tariffs associated with them, which are less than the price cap. So in fact, these companies aren't going to be affected by the price cap and will continue to be able to offer their very cheap deals. Um, there's only a few, so Eon, Co-op, uh, First Utility, Npower, who have SVTs above the price cap. So these companies are the ones who might have to pull their deals. So now if we uh, filter the market by companies who have SVTs below the price cap, we see that actually it doesn't look that detrimental to the consumer. So uh, if we count again the number of deals below £900, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we've only lost a few deals um, from the original marketplace. And actually that's a good thing because those deals are the ones with the sting in the tail. So this is why uh, an absolute price cap is actually going to be a beneficial thing for the consumer. You will still see lots of good deals in the marketplace, but we'll lose the deals with a sting in the tail. Thanks very much.